Okay. Ta-da. Ta-da. We are back into game. This is game two of I'm a Hero versus Final Boss and Company. The brain fart. And I am the general. And this is Dark M. And we'll see what, what goes on in the level one. We did not get to see the last game. But it was pretty quick. It's 27 minutes. Yeah, I'm a hero one convincingly, apparently. But I do not know the details. Oh, here we go. This is what I like to see. Aggressive invade. Level one, Lucian's probably telling his teammates they're all here. Or they're not. And they're all going to slowly trickle down towards the tri brush. Okay, the path is getting pinged out for I'm a hero. Lee Sin and company, though, they are waiting in that area, so they might be looking for a, you know, ha ha, caught you with your pants down kind of move. They look like they definitely want to uh, trick them here. They really need to be careful, though. Because uh, they, aside from Leona, they have no true CC. If Zack takes his stun first, that would be really good for the level 1, but that would really cripple his laning. So we'll see what Amahiro decides to do. This is very dangerous. Uh, this is very dangerous. Whoever runs into the other is probably going to die. Oh no, we got somebody backing. Oh no. If... Uh oh. Oh no, Aranos, you're dead. You are so yeah, there's dead. There's a stun and he will flash, but it doesn't... Yeah, he's not going to waste a flash. Good on him. Oh, it is time was, to leave. That was just... And it looks like Tarek is going to sacrifice himself. Oh, the ward's getting placed down. Goodbye, I'm a hero. Yeah, and this is a catastrophic start for I'm a hero. Might, we might as well just go to game three already. Oh my oh, god. the ignite. They should really just leave it. Yeah. Let Jayhani pick up the kill. Good guy, Chocobo. And that's going to be 2-0. 700 gold into the pockets of Final Bossing Company. Ooh, that's really going to hurt because now Zack is going to be really far behind. That, that was a very costly face check, to say the least. That was really costly. He is getting good damage on Kassin, but the damage is done. They've already given up two kills. I mean, uh, Nobody got, got to go back to spend. But it's still... One, but, it's still first blood. Yeah, but eventually two, it will. they will get to um, buy. Yeah, that's still free gold in the pocket of Lee Sin. And Lee Sin loves getting early gold. Yep, Lee Sin, real snowball champion. We'll see how he makes use of that first blood gold. But yeah, as I said, uh, Kage no Jugoku really gonna suffer because of that. Got to lane so late, Shivana could push up the creeps and hit level 2. Okay, Shivana gets the uh, 3 minute ward, 3, three minute trinket ward into the uh, tri bush. Yeah. But yeah, it's also really bad for bottom because of that uh, death experience. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're gonna be way ahead. Get probably get level three. Yeah, an early level advantage on Leona is huge. Yeah, so very smart by Jinx and Tarek. Just let them push up. Don't don't even move up and give them a reason to try and get on you. Yeah, it's gonna be a very rocky start for Roblava, who did not get any leash. Yeah, and he's gonna have to go back after this. And there's those Zack nerfs come into fruition. The blobs are now much more contestable. Yeah, and Lee Sin dropping a ward for Cassidy just to make sure. But uh, there will be no danger at all as uh, Wukong is way in his base. He had to go back and heal. Yeah, he had to go back and heal. Lee Sin uh, still got some potions, but doesn't feel like ganking yet. He could have ganked bottom possibly, but they're pushing up so hard. Probably would have been a waste of his time. But as the saying goes, if you, all your lanes are pushing up and winning, go find the enemy jungler. Like, just go mess with him. Lee Sin is one of the strongest duelists in the game, and Wukong really needs levels in his skills in order to fight back. Yeah, definitely. And it looks like the uh, on my way ping is coming from Rob, but uh, the ward will spot him out if he takes that path. Yeah, and they're going to see him. Lee Sin's gonna get get in a position for a counter gank, and this could get uh, very dicey. Lee Sin not even gonna counter gank, he's just putting a ward in the enemy jungle. Looks like he's gonna try and come from behind. No, he's just gonna let him go. Probably duel him right here. Yeah, forcing Wukong out. Robolava should know that he has no chance at winning a duel against uh, Lee Sin right now. Yeah, and Cassidy has basically gotten a free lane to six at this point because of that catastrophic level one where they face check 
That's interesting. I thought Lee Sin would have gone to take the golem before he went to try and gank top or something. Speaking of Lee Sin, he is on his way top now. Uh, he's been sitting there for a while. Uh, he's really kind of wasting his time right now. He yes. should just go back to farming. Yeah, his buffs time out. So he will leave. But uh, Super Awesome and Silverbleed are just pinned down under their turret. Yeah. Well, like I said, Lee Sin not really pressing the advantage that his lanes are giving him. Like, he really should be either helping mid, mm -hmm. or he should be looking for Wukong, who still can't duel him. He is up a longsword. Yeah, and I'm a hero cannot forget that Kassadin has teleport. Kassadin has teleport. Oh, uh, here comes Robalaba. But he's level this, 4. Yeah. I don't really think this is going to... This gank Results probably isn't going to work because there's not really any CC other than Zack. And it's also not going to work because here comes Lee Sin. And Kagino Jigoku is burning. He knows that his passive will leave him vulnerable and he's going to leave Rob to die maybe? No, Rob will get out. Ooh. I'm actually a little surprised that uh, they chose to just run. Uh, yeah, Shibana was a little low. Do you think they could have turned? No, Lee Sin was there. It's too risky. He is up that long sword, and his uh, Sonic Wave, although he threw it at Zack and it missed, it was going to come off cooldown if they decide to go in for the kill on Shivana. No, oh, he, uh, he can't go in on that, though. Not with Shivana leaving. Nope. Oh, he could have gone in to pop the passive, but he would not have been able to kill Zack. Rob getting dangerously low, tanking those golems for the farm, and he's going to have to recall again as Lee Sin soaking up a ton of gold and XP right now. Yeah. Getting uh, some lane time. And Lee Sin should have an idea of what the situation is with Wukong, and he really should be pressing it. Like, I cannot stress that enough that he is an early game champion, whereas Wukong will outscale him. He really should be trying to basically uh, smother Wukong's jungle, yeah. put in some wards, take all the camps, and just wait for him. Look for opportunities to just duel him one on one and kill him. Yeah, it's already 9.4k to 8.3. Uh, about seven and a half minutes into this game. Yeah. Game two. And again, I'm a hero. Won the first game convincingly, even though uh, my client bugged out and we couldn't even watch the game. But a strong start. Definitely redeeming themselves from the first game. They're in control, his final boss and company. Yeah, and only 700 of that was the first blood and the second kill. So they're pulling, a ho they're pulling ahead uh, slowly through just their own uh, mechanical skill. Yeah, definitely. Yep. So, fight in bottom, fight going in the bottom. They're going to catch Leona. He is he not level no cyclone, six. So yeah, he is this is going to be really hard. Leona's flash is up. And there it trying is. Trying to bait it out. Good uh, safeguard. That's going to turn the fight. Jay Honey is still at full life. Pelting away with those shots. Silverbleed forced the flash away. Super Awesome is getting dangerously low. The Hiku will come in and pick up the kill. It is now 3 0. Oh, the Curring. And uh, Rob will protect Silverbleed, but it will cost him his own life. Yep. Very good very good by uh, Yellow Paco and friends, knowing their limits. It's baiting them so deep that there's no way they could get out without taking at least one casualty. So that's going to be really big. They're going to snowball the gold lead. They're going to push this up, and I'm kind of surprised. Uh, not really surprised. Uh, Leona and Lee Sin are a bit too low to be taking the dragon right now. Yeah, and I, I thought they might have tried to take the buff, because uh, Jungler should have a good idea of when the buffs should be back up. And at 8... Mm -hmm. And nearly nine minutes, and you see that neither jungler has buffs. You should know that they're all up. Yeah, then they're, they're so far ahead right now, twelve point three to ten, plus all the the solo lanes are winning also. Well, actually, mid is pretty even, but uh, definitely they could take they could probably force the dragon later. If oh, they I choose. mean, by all means, a five CS deficit to another laner for Cassidy is winning the lane. Yeah. Because you should be behind by a lot more, is what you're saying. Yeah, he should be behind by a lot more because of that fiasco at level 1. He is technically ahead because he has those two assists. Yeah, and if you look at the AD carry matchup right now, Phage plus Sheen for Lucian already. His his Trinity Force is going to be finished very soon. Yeah, and that was a lot of pain right there where it's just a 1-2 combo and it took off about a third of Jinx's health. Yeah, because I mean, BF Sword is all... Okay, never mind. Gank coming up top. Lee Sin is there once again. He is everywhere, but they quickly melt down Fahmin. Yeah. So Fahmin melted down uh, Robolava right there. Now they're going to take down Zack. He has no way out. And he has no flash, so this is going to be a death. He should use a smite if they don't think they can do it quick enough. Yeah, I, he I think he actually... And here comes a teleport for Cassidy. 
Yeah, he, he actually used Smite, but he used it on one of the minions. But I guess it didn't really matter. That didn't point. really matter. They got the kill. And Yasuo really needs to leave. They're gonna they're gonna tower dive in. Like, he needs to be careful. As soon as that shield goes away. Oh no, the dragon's rage was used, so well they're not gonna kill Yasuo, but they got a lot of tower pressure right there. But yeah, I guess Cassid and just choosing to use the teleport just to mirror the roam. Yeah, he oh. knew that Yasuo was hit it up there, so he wanted to be up there just in case. Yeah, just in case he tried to pick up any revenge kills. So very good playmaking right there by Lee Sin. Also good baiting by Shivana. Yeah, that was a really good bait by Shivana. So now the score is 6-0 right now in favor of Final Boss and Company. Lee Sin now with the Spirit of the Lizard Elder, Cloth Armor and Boots to the Spirit Stone and uh, Kindle Gem of Wukong. So Wukong very far behind. Yeah, this is definitely looking like the exact opposite of Game 1. The snowball has been completely reversed. Yeah, Kasten going for that late game build with the stacking tier into Azonia's. So very interesting. So I would not be surprised to see him pick up uh, maybe his death cap after the Zonias. Mm -hmm. He's probably feeling very confident. He'll he'll go either Archangels or Death Cap. Yeah, we see that Fawman has picked up the Negatron cloak. No surprise there against Zack. And then he will be building towards the Blade of the Ruined King eventually. We'll see what he finishes first. Yeah. Casting could also be really ballsy and go for that Lich Bane as his third item. That would be really strong on him as well. But yeah, look at the, looking at the bottom lane, the CS difference is so big. He has more than double Jinx's CS oh right now. Yeah, and uh, because of the all the attention to top, uh, Shivana has pulled away by a lot now. Not only does he have a CS lead, but uh, the two O one to the one to the zero one zero. Mm -hmm. And here we go. This is an uncontestable dragon right here for the purple team. Like they really need to just back off. Because they're going to do it fast enough where the smite comes out, and now they're going to be looking for a fight. Yeah, Silverbleed is in no man's land right now, as Lee Sin, with a good Dragon Rage to disengage right there, they already got what they wanted, so they don't need to force anymore. Yeah, they don't need to force, and uh, they're kind of just wasting a few cooldowns there trying to hit Lee Sin, who already had a way out. Yeah. So things not looking so hot right now. Yeah, luckily the red buff has timed out on uh, Shivana. But Zack is still in need of a lot of assistance. Oh, nice. no. Cyclone on Cassidy, not a very good idea. As soon as you jump on him, Cassidy is, is going to uh, he's gonna teleport away. Did he actually try to Q first and then ulti? Yeah, that's what it looked like. Yeah, that was way too greedy. You have to respect the mobility of Cassidy. And if you're going to do that, you got to just ult right away. Well, even then, ulting right away, uh, not sure if they would have had the damage to kill him. Yeah. Because Kassin did still have Flash and Rift Walk. Well, we shall see what happens. Kassin's, uh the deficit is much bigger in mid now. He is behind by 23 CS, although he does have the two assists and the dragon under his belt. Mm, the Rome still hasn't really been paying off for him. He used the teleport already. I'd like to see him actually try to set up a dive on bottom. With uh, Leona there to tank the tower, they could easily get the double kill on the dive. We see Metal Chocobo swinging top again. And uh, we're going to pan the camera up there because uh, Rob is out of position again. He needs to retreat. Puts the ward down. He does see them. Yeah. But you can really see how far ahead they are now. The jungle basically belongs to just the blue team. Yep. Just the blue team owning both sides of the jungle. And they're going to take everything they can out of it. The wars will spot them out, but there's nothing Yasuo can do about that. Nope. And at this point, you'd have to think that I'm a hero needs to stop uh, the laning phase at this point and just start grouping because if they keep trying to play the game normally and just keep oh, CSing, they're just gonna get further behind. Yeah, they're just gonna keep falling further and further behind at this point. So they need to change up what they're doing. Like the key for them in this game is gonna be the, uh, the Yasuo. He really needs to go go gank somewhere. But with Kassin breathing down his neck right now, there's no way he can leave the lane. Yeah, and Lee Sin is all, has been in the right place at the right time. So it's really been getting into the heads, I think, of I'm a hero. As, uh, Jay Honey should have his Trinity Force and then some by now. Yeah, he does. So Probably we'll not see feeling he like he wants to go back yet. Probably gonna wait till he has the, uh, the Vamp Scepter as well, which he should in a few more CS. Oh no. 
Okay, Kage no Jigoku getting caught out face checking. That's been the story of this game. He is being he's burning down the half life. Here comes Yasuo though for the combo wombo, and there you like you said, just like that, the team fight is a wash for the blue team. Famin trying to flash away, but he will still go down. Mm. Cast it in. Yeah, he just needs to slow him down, silence him, and just leave. Take the harass for what it is. But like I said, man, Yasuo is going to be the playmaker. Like, almost everything they have synergizes so well with him, except for bottom lane. But if you stun someone, it's easy to land a tornado. Yeah. But meanwhile, the bot lane for the blue team has taken the turret. Again, with that uh, gold advantage and uh, level advantage, it's just been so simple for them. Yeah, things not looking so hot so yet. That that was a step in the right direction, but they need to they need to keep going. Um, they they really need to gank mid right now. Get cast in off of the off of the mid lane. Yeah, and I'm really gonna wonder if they're gonna leave super awesome, you know, to be like that Genja status where he just you know farms his uh -oh, lane forever. This is a dive. He's dead. Yeah, this should be a pretty free dive. Lee Sin's in no real danger as there are plenty of minions left, and that's just uh. Yasuo not paying attention. Yeah, nice and easy dive with Kassin tanking the tower for Lee Sin. Gonna pick up the kill very easy. He could even stay and push out the lane. There's like no real threat, but he will give up the lane to uh, to Lucian, who does need the farm. He's got his Trinity and Vamp, probably looking to get his Bloodthirster next. Oh no. Uh, Famin taking a little bit of harass from Zack, but Zack is uh, not getting the, ben the better end of that trade. Yeah, he does have the Sunfire Cape, so he's putting out a, a little bit of extra damage per second. But Shivana does a lot of magic damage, too. Yeah. Does a lot of magic damage. Oops, she has plenty of mixed damage. And now we got the blue being passed off to uh, Super Awesome. Yeah, might as well, because you know at this point that they're coming, so you mm -hmm. might as well secure the objective. I, I would have thought that they would just let Wukong have it, because he is so very far behind, and his... His Cyclone is the key to his gangs. Yeah, I think they only did that because he wasn't close enough and they knew that they were pretty much there already. Yeah. So they just did what they thought was the best decision at the time. They really need Wukong to secure his own red right now. A gank on Kassin right now is not going to help. Like, they really need to tower dive if they're going to gank him. Yeah, you see that flow shield right there? It just ate up all, the, all of Kassin's combo, pretty oh, much. Looks like they just want to take the tower, but Tarek in the wrong part of town needs to back it up. Yeah, Dazzle coming out. Oh, Wukong gets the jump onto Jay Honey. He quickly disengages over the wall. The culling's gonna come across. And uh, all the AoE from the blue team is shredding through the purple team right now. And Takeji has uh, gotten the kill onto Arnos. That's a lot of their damage. Super Awesome is in no way gonna get out of this. And Silver this is Bleed gonna be a clean fight. Will fall as well. Clean fight, 4 for 0. Yeah. And that pretty much dashes all hope of any comeback that I'm a hero will have on their own. Now it's on uh, Final Boss and Company to throw the game. Yeah, this, the onus is definitely on them to throw now because they are in the driver's seat and they should not uh, let go at this point. Uh, right now, I like this move. They're going to take this tower and then go back and buy. So very, very good. Pushing the objectives as soon as they win a fight. Uh, Dragon should be up as well. Yeah, there it is. It's live. They're going to take that as well before they go back. And they're not really going to lose any pressure because the only lane that's pushing is uh, bottom. And nobody's going there. So they won't really lose anything off of this. Yeah, and that, and I think in that fight, they would have had a better chance if Zack had been there to help. But because uh, Shivana is always split pushing, uh, he felt like he had to stay up there. But I believe in that, in that case. He did have to stay up there and Zack was getting... Uh, chunked down. Yeah, yeah, he was getting chunked by Shivana. So... The, Good push, they'll go for the mid tower, get a little bit of retribution gold right there. But they really need to make their way to bottom as well. Yeah, I really feel that purple team needs to make up their mind. They, they cannot uh, fight as a four. I think they either need to just fight as a five, or they need to start thinking about the next game already. Because 4v4 four, four four has not been working out for them. Well, their only chance is a group of his five. And as soon as Shivana shows up, they really need to try and force a dive. Because Shivana does have a fair bit of their gold. Most of it is on Lee Sin. But that's still a lot of... That's pretty much their gold difference minus a bit. Yeah, see, she's sitting on 6.9k. Which is uh, just about 70% of the lead. Yeah. So they would only be fighting maybe 2 or 3k down. 
And that's a fight they really need to take in order to make a comeback. But here we go. They're, looks like they're just choosing to farm up for a bit. Uh, we'll see how that benefits them. If this is to complete maybe one more major item on somebody, then it'll be worth it. But if they're just farming just to farm what they can, uh, the, the time's running out. Yeah, but right now, purple team, they need to get a pick and they need to make it count. Because the last time they fought, they caught Jay Honey. They exhausted him and everything. They blew all their ults on him. But he flashed away. And then that was basically the fight for them. Yeah, they flashed away. They didn't get a knock up on him. So Yasuo couldn't ult in because I think his ult wasn't even off cooldown yet. Still had maybe about three more seconds to go before he could use it. So probably a bit of miscommunication right there. Yeah, now looks like they're trying to set up on Cassidy and Lee Sin catching out Wukong and here's Shivana. They're just gonna have to cycle on his way out. Yeah, and the, the stealth is gonna do Nathan's hot dogs right there because Lee Sin can see him perfectly fine. Very has, good collapse. Yeah, very nice uh, solar flare on the dot. Yeah, solar flare on the Paco. dot. And this is gonna be a kick onto... Nope, they're just gonna let him go. But that's a little consequence. It's only Tarek. Yeah. Tarek I can't really do I thought there was going to be a Dragon's Rage to kick Tarek more off to the side so they could finish it. Yeah, and Super Awesome not paying attention right here. He's going to go down super wow. fast. The Dragon's Rage being used as an execute. Like, there was no reason for him to still be there. When you see that your team is dying all over the map, you have to know that they're coming for you. Yeah, you have to know there's a dive coming. Yeah, and even though you're really far behind, you can't be giving away more kills like that. Mm, I'm surprised they're backing off right here. I thought they would have been pressing the advantage because they know they killed the AD carry. And Wukong's ult was blown, so there was no threat of a counter engage. Yeah, so interesting decision. Thought they would have pressed up a little more. Maybe they're all going to finish a couple more major items. I'd like to see uh, one more push or one more hard push and maybe they could try a a really quick a Baron Sneak. They do have Lee Sin, Shivana, and Lucian for that. At this point, they might not even need to sneak it. They can probably just be like, Hey, we're going to take Baron. Come yeah. get oh, us. Oh no. Super awesome in the wrong place. But Kastanin doesn't know. There's no wards. Could He could have assassinated Super Awesome right here. Yeah, taking a look at the items real quick, even though there's not much to say. Obviously, blue team is very far ahead. But the Zonius has been finished onto Kass. Uh, Kong gonna stealth, but that's of no consequence. He is gonna go down right here. Yeah, it's a good Q. Yeah, and that's gonna be free towers right here. Oh no, they're gonna catch out Solar Blade as well. Yep, gonna shove him back. Very nice. Solar Flare uh, pinning two people down, and there's the calling. Very nice team fight. Zach needs to back it up. It's gonna be three, four Woo! people getting picked, and Insta Jib onto Super Awesome. And looks like they're making a call for Baron, but I think now they're they realize four people are down. They're gonna go for the inhibitor turret. Yeah, I think with uh, the death timers, even though they're a little low, I think they'll probably just kill them again anyway. <laughs> yeah, like Zack is staying under the tower, which is cool and all, but they're just going to switch tanking. Oh, and now with the let's bounce down. Yeah, no let's bounce. That's going to kill any hope they have of turning this. Yeah, it's going to kill any hope. They're just going to get away. If Tarek stuns someone, the entire blue team is going to turn around and try to kill whoever comes in. Yeah, and because I'm a hero won the first game, according to the... Uh, Results that I got after the game. I'm thinking maybe they should just think about going to game three already. Because the more you play out a, a game like this, the more it can get into your head. And it can cause you to uh, tilt even more. Ooh, we got that Talisman of Ascension being blown. Trying to get away. They did see that purple team was in pursuit of them. Uh, I don't think they really need to blow that, that cooldown. So it looks like they're just going to wait it out. Wait till that Talisman and all the Blade of the Ruined Kings come back up and then they'll try probably for one more fight before they take the inhibitor. Dragon's gonna be live in about 28 seconds. The purple team is just trying to farm up whatever gold they can. Everybody's so far behind. Lee Sin's uh, sitting on two major damage items plus a Warden's Mail, Sightstone, and Ninja Tabi versus just the the Blue Fist and Ninja Tabi and Warden's Mail of Wukong. And it looks like Yasuo is going for just a flat out bloodthirster just because it's cheaper. Yeah, he's at just this going point. for the cheaper damage at this point. Uh, not going to synergize too well with what he's supposed to do, but you got to take any damage you can get at this point. Whereas Cassidy, he's got that uh, amplifying tome. Not sure what he's going to do with it. Could be a Sheen, could be. Could be anything at this point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he could be getting a DFG. 
there's all sorts of things you can get with that. And Lucian went with the Blade of the Ruined King and the Trinity Force. Very interesting. So and strong going, right now. Yeah, he's going with the Last Whisper next. And yeah, the dragon's going down so fast that uh, I'm a hero knows they have no chance of contesting anything at this point. I'm a hero just needs to try to go all in again and at the best opportunity because eventually the game will just roll itself out at this point. They're just going to keep getting backed up further and further until their nexus goes down. Well, so right now their only chance is to just give up this inhibitor and they have to try and fight, fight at the, the, at the double towers. Yeah, they either have to fight at the uh, nexus turrets or at the next inhibitor. No, 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 don't go. There you go. Just back it up. You got to let that go. But they have to know. They have to let that go. Okay, so that is the first inhibitor of the game going down. And I believe now the, the order is to shove top because that's the last inhibitor. Oh, uh, yeah, last, last inner tower. Excuse me. And this is bad positioning for I'm a hero. Kagenoji yeah. Goku gets initiated on, and uh, you can see Super Awesome is not even in the fight. He's walking all the way around, and I really don't like the purple team's chances if Super Awesome can even auto attack. And uh, Rob is gonna go down really fast. The passive getting popped. The Jello Blob is gonna get devoured by the blue team, and that is definitely gonna be it. 23 to two. What a huge answer from the blue team. Definitely a uh, different game. Uh, definitely redeeming themselves after the first game. Yep. Big comebacks right there. They're just going to tank this out, take out the turrets. And that'll be game two. We're going to move on to game three of I'm a Hero versus Final Boss and Company. Yeah. And so the uh, Nexus will go down one, two, three. And we are on our way to the final game of the set, it looks like. 